Good evening and welcome back to Mega Factory Titan where we may have jumped back in time a little bit. I don't actually remember where we were from this episode to that. I could have gone back and checked that, but basically I have already recorded this episode. In fact, I've already recorded two episodes, this one and the following one, but I've had to scrap them. Uh, you see, the soundtrack to this game is fantastic. Really, really good. And... Um, it's it's done by a group called Carbon Based Lifeforms, and unfortunately falls victim to YouTube's copyright system. So um, yeah, if I'd have uploaded the episodes that I had, well, I did upload them, uh, and they got muted in certain places, which is weird. So um, there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm having to go back and re-record them without the music, which is really bad. So you will hear music. It will be from Stream Beats, which is what I normally use. It's all royalty free. Um, it's a shame because the soundtrack is very good. Carbon Based Lifeforms is very, very good very very good so is it a shame but yeah so i have a plan of what we're going to do but i don't remember where we were beforehand i remember what i did in the episode and what i did in the next one so we're just going to do that again and um uh, forgive me for it it will go entirely wrong but what we are going to do is um we have built uh we've done the farm for this one that's fine we want pipes and we want wires okay so that's fine so what i've done i have got our rover going around doing loads and see all these little dots green dots um he's going to go around getting loads of um ruins so we can get loads of ruins i'm going to have you carry on salvaging bits here and drop them off in here so we can fill this up with wire we are going to grab our speeder wherever it may be over here yeah so so this is where i'm okay no, I don't think we've gone back in time that much. I seem to remember us having a miner, mining things, but maybe I didn't, I don't know. Maybe for you this is exactly as the way, way it was, I don't remember. Um, as I said, I've already recorded an hour of this and then had to go back and remove it, so... Oh, well. But we're gonna uh, pick up from here, drop off here. Wrong. Uh, uh, drop off. Reallocate. Reallocate? Relocate? What? I can move it? Ooh, with their own uh, oh, uh, set as drop off point set as pick up point and you will go and pick up wire and deliver it down there absolutely fine so what we want to do is we want to get pipe done we, we want to finish the research for pipe so we can get the piping done and then once we get the piping done we're going to tear this all down and rebuild it that's the plan, that's the plan. in fact we're going to tear this all down now because um, I can. So I'm going to go into the truck mode and go into demolish area mode, which is a uh, you set area. And it's not you don't click and drag, which is one thing that always got me. You don't click and drag. You click to start. You just go click, boom, and then you drag out. Not holding the mouse button. You just boom like that, and then you click again. Then I'm waving my hand. You can't see it, but I'm, I'm waving my hand. Going look, you don't. It's click, move, click again. Not click and drag. If you click and drag, it doesn't do anything. It just sits there. And you let go, and that happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of this. We don't need that. Or that. Uh, or this. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of the silica and mineral wood. Uh, I want to kind of keep them if I can. So what we're going to do is we are going to put those in there. Okay. You are going to change from sandstone to be copper. I think we were here. I think we did this last time and we were stuck with the slag. Um, and that's where I left it. So we have gone back in time a little tiny bit, but not, not dramatically amount. So it's just where the auto saves happen. They, they auto save every 10 minutes. So I've had to go back to a previous save. So, so okay, so you're gonna do copper and to do copper, you need child copyright or child copyright. Ha ha, ha ha ha, copyright, soundtrack, no. Uh, or, um, Chalcorite or Malachite. Well, we don't have any of those, but we do have some Chalco Pyrite here and um, some here. But we can't get to this one in here because it's sandstone's in the way. So we're going to have to mine the sandstone. But let's first of all grab ourselves an excavator and let's go. Hey, would you be so kind as to take the sandstone and drop it in there? Okay. Hold on. You go. Everyone go. Everyone do everything. Fantastic. Away we go. So, you're going to mine out the sandstone. Awesome. Um, and then when you're, you're going to drop it off in there, which is fine. The mineral wood came down. The silica has not come down, which is interesting. I think you've turned silica into more wood, haven't you? Yeah. 
Okay. I found a map of a nearby deposit of bauxite. Awesome. Uh, found your rover found parts to build a power line. Nice. Secrets to the electric motor. Map to the area. <laughs> Stuff moves very, very fast. I'm surprised there isn't a different um, speed. Um, uh, thanks for the while. Yay. Thank you. I'm a couple. Let's try. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's the one. What do I want? Uh, we like some wire. Uh, go for it. Um, will you auto? No. 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 The area. Cool. Um, okay. So now that's done. That's done. Let's remove this. Uh, so we can get rid of this factory. This and this. Bomb. You want to be doing that. So you are. Can you get hold of the track up right there? No. Take that instead. Get the get the uh, child copyright. Go. Okay, I like when they do double requests like this. It means we can just quickly do things because our, uh, our big uh, our early we got one of these early on and it's done very very nice. Oh, that's, uh, awesome, awesome. That's really good. We found secrets to piping, so we've we've unlocked um, uh, some more piping and we found an armor augmentation. Oh, who's one now? you like to buy 30 piping? Um, yeah. Go. Oh. Cool. And we're stuck there. We can't do that. But that's cool. Because we've learned, we've learned every time you find a research in the world, it gives you 30% of it or 33% of it. So that means we only need to do a little bit more for the piping, which is awesome. Awesome. So we're 7 out of 10. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. awesome right so you have done this and now we have nowhere to put our slag so to do the slag um what's it? Got, got a wind turbine oh nice awesome so um we need to store our slag so i'm going to get another warehouse and i'm going to throw it here we're going to say to you would you filter and only do the three slags and then we're going to have you come out and go to there uh, found deposit of taco pyrite, awesome, nice, uh, deposit of bauxite, uh, autonomous exploration research, awesome, and we found a gun rover, piping technology has been researched, okay, that was, that was, that was quick, that was quick, everything happened so quickly, uh, there's a lot going on, there's always a lot going on in this game, it seems like there's so much going on there, so, that's interesting, so you... Did we find that again? Did we? Did we? Um, secrets to anonymous bauxite piping technology has been reset. You know, I really feel as if we only did one of these. Um, but oh well, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all, at all. Because piping is now done, so we can make pipes, which we will do. But we're going to move some things around first. We're going to try and build our bus, hopefully. That's the plan. Although we might build some pipes first, because maybe we'll see. I don't know what pipes we need. But um, okay, uh, deal with waste. You have accumulated a waste byproduct. Yes, we have. Uh, you can deal with it in an extruder, a vaporizing stack, or pay a faction to take it. If you talk to the greater Saturn Federal Authority, you can sell slag to them. Then you can deliver waste with a truck or maglet. Okay. So we've got three options. We can have the extruder, which is here. And I don't know what this does, but it produces goods. It can produce. Ah, oh, produces. Slag, this recipe. Oh, that's to build it. That, that's how. That's, that's what it costs to build it. So you have to some these machines. Some of the machines you have to build in the prefabricator. You have to build them before you can place them down. Um, and it can build reprocessed slag. And reprocessed slag comes from slag, or sulfide slag, or ferrous slag. That's quite cool. Okay, so we can process our sl our slag into reprocessed slag, and then reprocess slag. Can be used to make i'm right clicking it to try and get recipes uh, concrete land silica or mirror wood which is awesome awesome so we can reprocess 
some of the slag we have into more into sulfur or into iron and reprocess slag and then turn the reprocess slag into something else so we can get more silica for instance for it so you can reprocess things by going through an extruder i think the extruder causes pollution the vapor pricing stack absolutely produces few, um, uh, pollution it burns things it just basically burns them and uh, gets rid of them so um it's an option but not really one we want to uh so there's the two there we also have the ability to talk to the greater saturn these people here the evil people Bum, these ones here hello and if we scroll down we've got a, a scroll here it's not exactly easy to see but it is there um uh, you can cancel the trade request which i didn't realize um uh, so yeah um, you can only have so many trades available i don't know what the limit is but you can have so many available um but uh take trash means that we will this this uh this here we can barely see the um the trading post we'll fill up with trash we can pick the trash up and deal with their trash we basically they pay us to take their trash away so it's a good way to make money if you've got a way to do it. if you want to burn it and not worry about pollution or do something with it i don't know you can sell your slag to them so you can make money from slag obviously it's not as effective as processing yourself but if we don't have the extruder we might want to do that uh, you can stop them sat nearby uh, you can mute trade mute trade requests so that they don't trade to you again um, they'll just be quiet for the rest of the game i believe and you can cancel at any point so i think i want to sell mm -hmm. slag to them you can now deliver slag and other unwanted items to us i'll take it off your hands for a small price okay cool thank you now if i click on this and then open the store he will buy he won't buy ah we pay them to take our slag away they don't buy it from us okay so for every sulfide slag it costs us two credits to get rid of and then they deal with it okay okay and obviously if we sell them piping it gives them 70 sets so right so we have to pay them to remove it i didn't do this option when i played previously um i, I chose to just store it and uh and then i was going to use the extruder but i didn't get to it yet so i think we'll do that again i think we'll just store it deal with it that way um so yeah okay so what do we want to do next well we want to make some piping so I'm going to get rid of this research this here and possibly change this up as well. Um, uh, also, I'm going to go into returns and I want to return everything that we don't, that we're not using. And the smelter and the factory, we'll turn a research lab because we're, I don't I don't want to be paying the uh, things from just in, in, in stock. We can buy them again at any point. Yes, there is an initial buy cost, but fine with that. Um, I'd rather not have that there. So we want to make with a factory. So ironically, I'm not going to buy a factory that I just sold. Um, but fine. Um, we want to make piping. Piping can be made with copper. And that's awesome. So we can just leave this set up exactly as it is. And there's our copper. Awesome. You are then going to do another trade route. And you're going to do piping. No drop-offs can accept. Ah, I need to... Right, I can't set this to be uh, pick-up. So I need this to become... Go into a storehouse. But what I'm going to do... I'm literally going to run a line down here. And I moved it one away from here because otherwise this will auto-connect. I don't want that. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, I think... Mining drop-off and cargo pick I don't want that set to be mining drop-off, do I? I just want it to be cargo pick Because you are manually set to do it. So you can demolition and you manually set you to drop-off. Okay, yep, we nice deal with waste, thank you. Um, so, you, I now want to do that. Drop-off, so we don't have any... Okay, so this one wants to be cargo pick-up you still won't have anything because you don't know but when you gain the goods should it let's unpause the game Let's see here oh here comes the piping Zoop. because this is set to cargo pickup you will kick in and away you go awesome okay okay so 
You are doing that there. Where is our rover? And we have a gun rover. Awesome. Now, these have got weapon, and you have to fill them with ammo. So, I'm not sure I really want to have a gun rover, if I'm honest with you. I don't know how much it costs to run the gun rover. Six. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Um, it's also an exp exploration vehicle. It can technically, mm -hmm. I think it can explore. Uh, oh! Oh, the Conflux Market. Well met. Pop by sometimes. We'll sell, we sell new gear every day. Fuel, weaponry, augments. No permit needed. Whoa. So they will send ammo for us. Where are you, late? Where are you? Is that you over here? You over there. Cool. Okay. That's good. Come here. Uh, so you've got an armor upgrade on you. Which reduces damage done by 20%. So that's quite cool. Might put it on the gun rover. Actually, how augmentations work. It's really, really simple. They literally are just add-ons to a vehicle. And because we are the 10... 10... Well, who are we? Um, <laughs> we're the race that gives us one more augmentation slot. So normally these vehicles would have two. Uh, but it's got, mm. it's got three. Thank you for the piping. Yay. Cool. Okay. And he's got another call coming in. Of course he has. Mm. What do you want now? Will you build us a water reservoir? Yes, we will. Um, I want the money still. Thank you. Okay, that's a building we have to make in a fabricator. And you don't do 30 piping to there because we're still going to be making piping. That's fine. But we do want to probably stop this at some point. I like you. Stop. Stop, stop, stop enough charcoal bar right to make enough pipes so we're good for them um for that. So you come back here so to unload a rover to unload a rover to unload an augmentation you have to be near a building that accepts them the only one i know of so far is the hq storehouses don't work for it gotta be the hq so we'll give this try let's go let's go come on over to here or we can go hey rover Take off this, and it says, "Do you want to put it in headquarters or destroy it?" We'll put it in headquarters. Gun rover. Um, I'm here. You can pick up the armor rotation. There you go. You are now armored. Armored gun rover. Cool. Okay. And I do assume this can go into uh, ruins. No, it can't. Okay. It is a gun rover only. All right. Righty dokey. Righty dokey. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We're going to sell the piping off to this guy here. Put on. Aha! Okay. So, pause, 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 pause. Now, this is something that also popped up um, on the previous playthrough. So, um, and it was, it was, it popped up at the dead right time. But this time, I know what I'm doing. So, um, he's got an incoming call. Put on. Um, hello. We'd like you to build us one refinery for six thousand six hundred. Uh, finish within thirty nine minutes, and you can choose a new thing. So, we can't do any copters because um, they require a permit. Even though he sells things without permits. You can't get them permissions. We could get an excavator of our own, or we could get 6,600 bonus credits. Well, we're gonna go with that. Now the refinery, what they want, we don't have. We need to unlock it down here. Well, this is gonna be our next research. Do. But we can't do that because we don't have any researchers right now because we removed them. But we'll get to that. We will get to it. Also, they have a sale on 75% off of everything. So if I click this button, uh, if I phone them, Conflux Market, but oh, hello, open the store. Um, they have a sale on. Open the faction store. And oh, the store is empty. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you actually? Oh, you have landed. <laughs> um, there's supposed to be stuff in here to buy, just like when you call these people. Um, oh, uh, not you. These people. 
a store here, but there's supposed to be a store here like this. And with everything in it, and it's really cheap. And uh, last time I had it, they um, hey, awesome. um, they had a sale, and um, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, there we go. Right, pause. Okay, it took a little while to, for it to come up. Right, boom. Here we go. Okay, uh, they had piping, which they have again. Um, one piping for only thirty, but um, yeah, they they had twenty piping last time, and I brought it and sold it for a mission back to the um, uh, the Saturn Federal. And uh, just it was like it came up at just the right time because uh, it's great. But yeah, so we can buy things from them that we don't, we wouldn't normally need. Like you know, a survey augmentation. It seems like a lot of money, but we are currently seventy five percent off. So that could be useful for our rover. It increases the line of sight for our rover. Nice nuclear fuel, heavy ordnance and ammo and stuff you can buy at forty ago instead of one hundred and sixty. So these sales are very good. Very, very good. I'm going to buy this. This wasn't here last time. I said last time I just brought pipes. So I'm going to buy this. Um, uh, I, I, uh, I brought it now. I was going to read what it does first and then buy it because I think it, it's line of sight. Yeah, increases survey range by 100%. So that makes sense. I remember reading some of the uh, documents in info links. Where was it? Uh, looking actually vehicles rover upgraded and then it, oh yeah augments here we've got installable installable augments which you can have apparently it doesn't have the um survey one did i did i if i mess this up oh yeah it goes in the survey rover ah i was after the optics one okay well we brought it and it was cheap so that's fine. We'll send our vehicles again. Press C to switch through vehicles. There's our rover. Rover. Oops. So it's C to go through the rover. V to bring up the list of vehicles. And this is something that I discovered by mistake. I just randomly pushed a button and was like, oh, what's this? Very useful. You can either click on the vehicle and it takes you straight to it. Boom, there. Or. You could have the camera over here um, and go. Well, I want the rover to come here, but I don't want to go away from this area because I might lose where I am, especially when the map gets very big. You can press V and you can click this button here, which selects the vehicle without moving the camera. So now we have the vehicle selected, we can right click and tell the vehicle to come here, the way you are on the screen. That's so good. That is so, so good. Um, yeah, I, I can imagine for combat it would be goes, oh well, we're under attack, pause the game, find out where you're under attack, rather than having to go out, grab your units and go back in. You can do this and just go select the unit, move, select the unit. I don't know how you do combat vehicles, I don't know um, whether you can like, put them into groups or whatever, I don't know how that works, but but you can just go, hey, there's, go, move here, do, you know, you can click and select a vehicle without anything. Excavators as well, if you find a specific ore you're after, you're like, oh it's in here right in here rather than having to find your excavator and then come back again you can just be like mm, but uh excavator bump come get it there you go job done so, brilliant absolutely brilliant so we'll do that we'll do the cargo vessel we'll pick this up and uh we are going to come and uh then drop it off in our base because you can store 200 items in the base so we'll do that okay so now we have built pipes and we have some pipes in storage. We have pipes still going. Yeah, it's still going because we've got loads of pyrite going. So yeah, well, we want to build over here, and we want to build um, uh, an access to a nearby operating gun turret. I don't really want those. Not really helpful. I'm honest with you. Um, yeah, it's nice, but there's no ammo in them, and uh, they're just costing us money. If we turn it off, does it not cost? There's a, a Dun Rover. I'm sorry, yeah, costing us eleven to go. I turn that one off. We've got another gun gun turret somewhere, haven't we? Oops. Still costing eleven to go. Uh, I don't know how to scrap it, that's the problem. I don't know how to... 
Oh, we can move it. I didn't know you could move it. Can't relocate structures across non-contiguous land. Oh, so because it's not within my borders, I can't do that. Because uh, that means I can't move the radar as well then, can I? I have to buy that land to move the radar. I don't know what radar does. Consume power. Enemy detection range 50 tiles away. Oh, okay, so if it's got power, we can see enemies. So, so I think what we might do then is we might actually deconstruct these. That just that just poof it, or can we actually salvage it with this? That hmm, I might have just poofed it. Um, no, what we're just gonna poof that one too. Just just go away. Just go away. We don't want them. We don't we don't want you. You're you're costing us money. Not worth it. Not worth it. Okay. I'm uh, right. Let's uh, get those ruins. And uh, another incoming call. What do you want now? Good day, we're actually build a water reservoir. Well, that's okay. We can do that. But bomb. There you go. So there's two water reservoirs and a refinery. Refinery we need to research. Water reservoirs we don't. I think we can build them straight up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let this run out of Chalco Pyrite. Um and uh convert it all into pipes. So we have loads of pipes stored in here. I don't know what pipes. Oh, I think Really for selling can be sold can be used to make power lines water reservoir ah so we need them to make a oh, refinery um, so they are a component they're not a thing we can place down in the world i don't think we have combat oh ah oh, when i deconstruct them they end up here so we own them but we're not paying maintenance on them oh that's awesome okay so we can just rebuild them <laughs> cool Okay. That's giving us radar that big. That's not really very helpful. It's not a great size. But yeah, okay. Uh, that's cool. Uh, we've got power line, which we know about, and we got a wind turbine. Uh, wind turbine's actually like pretty powerful, so I might put that in like, right there in front of that. Because these, these when we turn them on, these generate um, he's generating one megawatt at the moment, but um, when the wind kicks up, they can they can generate a lot, and it's free power. So, um, yeah. So, so I'm gonna let this this turn everything into into uh, piping, and we will come back next episode. I will clear the rest of this out here, and we will start building our bus, as it would be, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun